A disabled person who used to be a part 87 can bear ski. This is a children's book about a little bear who has lost some hearing but doesn't quite have the words yet to explain that's what he's experiencing. So he gets in trouble for ignoring his friend by accident and he has a really hard time being woken up in the morning because he can't hear his dad trying to wake him up. And he keeps getting asked, can bears ski? And he's not sure if they can or not or why people keep asking him that question. But then his dad brings him to an audiologist and they start him in therapy and lip reading classes and they give him hearing aids, which aren't comfortable and make everything really loud and robotic sounding at first. And he takes them off and loses them a lot. But over time he gets used to it and gains all the tools to be able to accommodate himself so he understands the stories his dad reads to him at night. It's really cute. I love the illustrations. I also think that having stories where characters realize that maybe they might need help is really important. Like, I didn't know when I was little that I needed glasses until my teacher told me that I squinted a lot and said I should ask my parents about it. And the adjustment to changing abilities or changing accommodations is a very rocky one that I think was handled really well in this book. My one critique would be that it never actually specified what Ken Bear's ski is supposed to be a misheard version of. According to the internet, it seems like it's supposed to be a can you hear me or something to that effect. But from a lip reading and uh, hearing perspective, S sounds are typically really clear and obvious. So I didn't make the direct connection from one to the other, but that's definitely just me being nitpicky. Um, but I at least wish that they clarified it somewhere in the story itself. Cause I know that if I read this to a classroom, every single child would ask me what bear skiing had to do with anything. And I'd have to answer all those questions. It'd just be a lot, but otherwise it's a really cute book. And one of the first picture books I've ever seen, if not the first, the character who uses hearing aids, which I think is pretty cool. And you should go check it out.